Hello, and welcome back to Monster Train. Let me reposition, I just got done streaming. This is not a game where I need my keyboard at all, so I'm sending it away. Get out of here, keyboard. Haha, <laughs> nice knowing you. Let's get to it, shall we? Uh, what was I, gonna, I was going to say something to start this run off. I wonder what it was. Let me think about it. Hang on, I'll get there. Playing Rector today. Cool buddy. Uh, oh yeah, uh, I wanted to mention, because I'm going to mention this every, I don't know, every now and then when the overwhelming sense of oh no is upon me, but I'm very far behind on YouTube comments. At this point, I am just, I've, I've officially given up on the comments. I will never be able to respond to them all again as I once did back in the Ratropolis days. However, that's okay. I do, I just want you to know that if you leave me a comment, I do read it. I read every one of them. I try to respond to ones that I'm like, oh yeah, I have something good to say to this that won't take me like three paragraphs to type out. But there was a period of time where someone would like, especially at the start of Monster Train, I had this a lot where you would, someone would be like, hey, uh, Shadow Eater isn't as bad as you think he is. And I would then respond with like, a 10 paragraph essay explaining all of the reasons I think that Shadow Eater is bad. And like any any sort of opinion piece or like question I would answer in that way. And it was just, it was not sustainable anymore. Which is, you know, a good sign because there's a lot of you guys watching and I appreciate all you being here with me for this. Anyway, if you do leave me a comment though, I do appreciate it greatly and I do read them all. Uh, is what I wanted to say. And hey, if you're on the subject, hey, maybe consider leaving a comment on this video and maybe give me a like and subscribe as well. Let's kick it, shall we? Uh, we are Rector today. We're Blue Exile Purple. We have Rage Talos, Shadow Arcus, Diligent Seraph, Tripfall, Crypt Builder, Memories. Oh, cool. I'm down. You know, Melting Stygian, the original uh, Infinite Clan combo. I'll take my memorial fund. My mouse is a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit tangled here. Burn bright, you like to see it. If we get the pieces for an infinite, I'll play it. It's likely that we do not. However, uh, you know, it's been a long time. It really has been a while since I've played an infinite on this series. However, they just have not been, they haven't been pieced together very well. I haven't been offered them. I'm not taking that trial because there is a potential that we take a lot, a lot of damage here. So I'm going to take it easy. We're going to take some damage, but maybe not a lot, a lot. Because we're going to not play Rector, of course. Taking that is like guaranteeing myself to take a certain amount of damage, and I don't want to be guaranteeing too much here. I want to guarantee as little damage as possible, really. I split you, it's pretty good. We get the Collector. The heal goes through, but that's okay. With foregone power, we can hopefully push through this front one. Oh yeah, and we have Crypt Builder. So, as long as... Oh, no, I, this always works out, actually. Heck, maybe I want to just play... I want to just play Crypt Builder, actually. Yeah, that's a lot better. And then I should be fine to kill the boss here, come to think of it, with the Crypt Builders. Yeah. Uh, I could have saved myself the 4 damage. I probably should have, actually. Unless Rector is my bottom card, it was better to not play it this way. It doesn't matter. I don't think the- like, this is a situation where it's like, yeah, it's fun to min-max and all that, but the 4 damage should not be the make or break on this run. Molded, sick. Uh, offering token's okay. Yeah, offering token's pretty good here. Molded's good because it's an infinite piece, and also reforming Rector is good. And then Offering Token is just always good. Uh, Steel Shop for a Remnant. We want to go Remnant Banner because we want to pull Lady. Quick, plus 5, plus 10, plus 10. It's likely that we don't play an Infant against Diligent Seraph as well. Worth mentioning. Tycoon. Tycoon's fine. Uh, it's just a bunch of free money. We play around Crypt Builder here. As our win condition for the next combat. Maybe I was supposed to go left and grab or search for mold over though. Possible. I'm just I'm trying to think if there's a way that I can justify taking Wickless Baron here is all. I'm trying to think of a reason too. The shop doesn't have a multi strike. It has a quick. I think if it had a multi strike, I could make a case, but not here. 
Maybe, no, you know what? I should have given it a shot because I could play him with Icy Silophite in theory. Oh well. Too late now. I'll just give Wickless Tycoon a plus 5, plus 10. He's not, like, Wickless Tycoon is a unit that I don't really care what upgrades he gets. He's just gonna chill. Uh, I don't like taking, I don't like taking trials here. I feel weak. I don't even, I don't even think them out too much. It's just kind of instinct at this point. And my instincts, my mind is telling me, do not do it to yourself here. And so I'm going to listen. Because the last time I didn't listen, I just died to taking an invasion trial and positioning poorly. Which is not ideal. Uh, this is also not ideal. The old molded on this turn pull. Uh, doesn't matter. It's okay, it's just like not playing Rector, but instead of hitting Rector, I have to hit molded on the next time around, which is equally difficult. But we can also live off of just playing Crypt Builders and Frostbite, I believe. More damage, right? It's another 15? Oh, it's not more damage. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, make sure that I leave two space open is all we have to do here, so that when I pull Molded I can still play Rector. Right? Yeah. But we don't play this Train Steward, basically. 8, and then we hit. We'll just do it like this. It's fine. The spikes are the problem here, actually. Hey, you know, hit Rector or die. Cool. Good work, good work. Great work, everyone. And break. Nah, just gonna press enter. It's just, it's a lot of close calls, right? You know, and we probably, we could have gotten away with the spikes 3, but it's not worth it to me there. What's our map? The magic shop? I think the magic shop means that I should take Wicklash. I think if there weren't a magic shop, I would take Molded here. But I'm gonna take Wicklash because in theory... Hey, Christos. Sick. In theory, at the magic shop, I can potentially hit Holdover. I have enough money to roll it as well. So it should be pretty good here. And we'll go minus one... I can't get plus 20 consumed to anything, which sucks. Permafrost. Nah. Alright. You miss it, and it's okay. It's still fine to have the Wicklash, but when you if you hit on the holdover mold, it's just really nice. Although maybe it's not that good. Maybe I should just I should have just permafrosted it, actually. Come to think of it. It's just the the instincts from too much little fade where permafrost is just strictly worse. They got me here. The little fade instincts. I'm just gonna not take that. You can make a case for dazed plan, and maybe it's not bad actually. You can probably stack a lot of dazed on diligent seraph, but eh. I'm not gonna remove anything. We're gonna play it cool. I should probably have removed two foregone powers. I think I made a lot of minor errors here, and that's probably gonna lead us to a really bad spot. I think that I think that we're in in a bad way here. I'm not feeling... I'm not feeling confident. Even, uh, you know, I should not play Rector down here. It's strong to play Rector on the bottom floor usually, but not here. Was there a unit draft on that ring? There was a remnant banner. Okay, just checking. Maybe I needed to go there. Play these guys up here for now. Playing anything on the bottom floor against Rage Talos, it just dies. You're just accepting its fate, and its fate is to be killed. A lot. No, oh, she's farming me with the rage. Yeah, she's got the rage to kill the train steward. Get that? Oh, yeah, I should have removed Forgone Power. You're gonna mold it here. Okay. Let me play a drag here. It doesn't really matter where I play this one. Couldn't play the Forgone Power on her there, because I want to just drip fall her so she doesn't get the 25. Forgone Power is worth... Maybe it is worth more, actually, over the course of the next six turns to play that. That's an interesting hypothesis. But also we save damage on Rector, so... I don't know. 
all that is in here, so that was good. We've still got a bunch of garbage to push through in this deck. I should have removed cards, for sure. Okay, Rector is getting slain here. Hmm, never mind. And so he'll die at the right timing here, I think. Because he's gonna die, he's gonna burn out next turn, and then I, I like, I can't miss my molded, basically. I can't draw molded while he's still alive, it, which is good. I preferred not taking 21 here. I guess I should have played that in the other order. It doesn't really matter. Now I just have to hit my molded. Wicklash first is not optimal. And I can't drop these. Hmm. Weird. If I move an enemy, it's just bad right now. But I don't really want to stack to fall either. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. I don't think that there was much that I could have done differently to survive this. E5, so he'll do he'll do 240. Not enough. He might be able to get there, I guess, with a little little finessing here though. We can we can maybe cut it a little close. The thing is this isn't a run that I would be torn up about losing because there's nothing good happening on this run. Uh yeah. We live. There's nothing particularly interesting happening. There's nothing redeeming about it. I just have Rector, and that's it. So I would not be torn up had I died there. But we pulled through. Uh, Intent on Death is maybe just like... There's nothing going for this run. Intent on Death is a card that is good if we get something going, but what will we get going here? Oh, God. I have no idea. Uh, maybe I take Spike. Uh, this is a run for Frostbite, it feels like. I just didn't see Flash Freeze, so it's not really a run for Frostbite. Ugh. Is this a skip? I'm gonna take Spike. I need the Frostbite. Wrong lady. Uh, I'm... I'm not super enthused about Nameless Siren, but I think it is what we have to pick here. I would be a lot happier with a Siren of the Sea. Mm. And we don't get to go to the Steel Banner, because I need to go to the Stygian Banner to find any better answer to this run. You know what? I'm gonna go Shark. I'm gonna go shark. So, here, I need to pick one of these and then I need to find the other at the banner here and then we can maybe survive. I think I, no, I need to take Siren and I need to just pull a shark. That's gonna be the play. Okay. And this is draw. Yeah, this is draw. And we just shift towards our plan being in camp. Not really a shift so much as it is just, uh,. Hey, look at that. We saw exactly the two units. So it did not matter. Excellent news. Okay. Now we can maybe piece this one into something. The duplication is fine. Another Crystallis is good. We'll probably take space so that we can reform Rector on the top floor. Okay. I can see how this one comes together here. I can, I can feel it out. It's going to be shaky, and we're going to not take any trials, because it's very, very shaky for the next few floors. But I can... We have the we have the beginnings of a winning line pieced together here, which is all that we need. We have a start. I need to get a bunch of incant... I need, I need a bunch of cards that don't matter where they get played, like Molded, for example, that I can just place top floor that's the next thing and i need to get rid of train sewer like playing molded right great good take this money 
Because we need to incant top four a lot to win. An incanting totem would be good here. Not uh, the bad one, of course, but one of the good ones would be nice here. I already, I just, keeping up the streak of just pulling molded before I play, or at, before Rector dies, and then pulling the other card way later. Wicklash. It's a 31 card deck, and we have two cards to work with Rector, though, so what am I upset about? The answer really is nothing. You know, just be a little nice to have the ordering be a little better here. It's fine, though. It's just, there's so many units as well. We gotta get through the draw the first time, and then the deck becomes a little better. Because our top floor right now is going to do 10 damage. This is just a deck where Rector does all of the moving. Like, Rector does everything in this deck right now. I can't play this drag. Unfortunately. Yeah. And I can't stack my armor. I can't stack on the top floor, but it's all Rector. I am okay with this ordering. Yeah, I think it's good to order that way. I mean, it's maybe not good. Nah, it wasn't good to order that way. I should play Crystallis first, but you can't really know. You know? I'll play this. Worth more behind. I do want this as well. I mean, it's looking a little grim here, right? Because I can't play Rector up here. Unless I... Hmm. Is that right? I think it is, actually. How strange. I need to play this at... Uh, so he's, my, he's at 14 after I play this. So... Minus 6 puts him at 8, so I need to play this at 2. Okay. How fucking weird is that? I swear, as I play this game more, I just get stranger and stranger turns presented to me. Like that one. Uh, curiouser and curiouser. Huh? How about it? Let me take those. I got so much money on this run. An, an obscene amount of funds. Now, Crushing Demise is good. Doesn't help with the incants, but it's good. Preserve is like the exact card I'm looking for. And I said not the bad totem game. What the hell? I guess I'm just going to dump my money at the trinket shop. I want to remove Train Steward. Drawing Train Steward right now feels really bad. Even though you only have to draw him once, it's a really bad first draw of Train Steward. Sketches. Uh. <laughs> uh. Resin Block seems bad. Big Flicker is liquor. Founding Seals is the... Founding Seals is the hit. Unsurprisingly, I'm sure. Founding Seal in this deck is the pickup, so, uh, you know. Earlier I said there was nothing going for this run. There's something going for this run now. I can't remove too many spells from this because it is Seraph the Diligent. I will run out of incants, so I'm gonna play it a little cool. 29 cards. It's probably Dregs next. One or two Forgone Powers. Things like that. Okay. Uh, spell Shield 2. Nah, especially since we don't need money. I just spent 700 gold at a trinket shop and I still have 100 gold to spare on floor 5. We're not desperate for money by any means. Siren up here. Oh yeah, we have liquor, right? I am going to play Rector on the middle floor here, I feel like. This seems right. I don't know why it seems right, but it just seems right to me to play him on the middle floor. I think because I want to be able to have the time to play spells to kill enemies before they move up. It's my thought process here. Because I'm going to be putting myself in positions like this as well, where Rector is hitting uh, nothing. Which is not optimal. I will say. 
Not necessarily my brightest play to send that guy to the back without playing Forgone Power. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are we doing here? I could double drip fall. I'm gonna just double drip fall. Feels bad, but like, it, I mean, it's really bad, but. You know, I'll pull an answer, I'm sure. Have I played molded yet? Hey, look at that. Look at that great molded timing. Excellent. Now what's in here? It's Crushing Demise, Crystals. Okay, me offering token, just in case there's a Crushing Demise on top, which there is, because I'm going to play it. Ah, excellent. Very good. And I didn't have to risk Rector for that. Okay. I'm going to play Preserve just to play it. I need the incant right now. It's looking, it's looking tough, but I think I can see us pulling out of this one. I feel like I can see it, which is more than I can say for a lot of runs. A lot of runs do not get to the I can see it phase. So perhaps this run has hope. We got the Rage, we got the Incant. If we get some good upgrades for them and we don't die to self-made Harpy, I can feel potential uh, win conditions in here. Potential win conditions in here. I want to take this away, and then we want to grab the six Frostbite. How's Rector looking? Three? Eh, he doesn't even look for three, it doesn't matter. Uh, probably fine. Probably fine. How we looking? Oh, we got the spike. Oh, get fucked, self-made RP. Oh, yeah. That's enough, right? I mean, it's gotta be enough. It's the same as Drip Falling, but it applies 15 sap. Yeah, and that's the only other way we can play it. Yeah. Nice. Very cool, very cool. Alright, another one. I mean, I feel like this entire run has just been me going, man, if we live here, if we live here, and then I live through that combat without taking any damage. But it's close. Like, each one of these has been very close, even though I'm talking like it's... Uh, I mean, I am talking like it's very near death, because we're very near death. I'm gonna take Sacred Wicks here. Although Mortal Entrapment is pretty good as well. Applied Days 3 is nice. Maybe I can just win by dazing Seraph all the way? I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna take Crystalline Seeds for a card to play. This is a run to take space on. For sure. Deal shop if you don't mind. I didn't take the trial and we made like 200 gold on that combat. I don't want to remove too many drags, but I want to remove one at least. I'm gonna pull Foregone Power as well. Diligent Seraph makes me think. What a great shot. What a what an what an excellent shot. Multi strike and plus twenty five. Even if the reroll is just completely worthless, which it isn't. Oh my god. It's nuts. Holy moly. That's insane. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. This this is a shadow, right? I think it's shadow. It is shadow. Binding shattering. Oh cool. I am playing a little fast here. I gotta say. We'll probably slow it down. Oh well. Will I? Probably not. No reason to preserve yet. And we're not gonna crushing demise, of course. Good buddy. That was like that might be as good of a shop as we could have possibly seen there. I'm not sure... Yeah, that, that was just, like, the best possible shop. That shop was insane. It really doesn't get any better. Should have played this in the other order. I'm gonna just toss memories, actually. I lost incants on my Rage Siren, but that's okay. We just... We focus on... The problem is I can't really do much incanting down here. But I am, I'm going to focus on incanting the top floor right now. More than anything else. It's important. 
The faster that we scale them, the better off we are. And they can do all of the lifting on this run at this point. With a little assistance from Rector to, to soften up a heavy, these two should do everything. I don't want more curses here. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I don't want to take the curse. We're gonna take three curses if I don't play that. Two is plenty, thanks. Blinding Shard doesn't matter. Whiplash putting in some nice work here and there. And I will greed. Wait. Oh, the Flicker's Liquor, of course. Cool. So I'm gonna greed for health here. Because we need to be, we need to be very certain that we have enough rage and enough armor to get through it here. I need to be very, very confident. Right now, I'm not very, very confident, but I'm fairly confident. Mm -hmm. Need some cost reductions, and maybe this is just energy. Now with this uh, nutty setup here, it's probably just energy. Dropping this guy was probably wrong, but I'm just gonna pull another one here. I hope. Mm -hmm. Well. Not ideal. We're gonna take some pyre damage, it appears. However, that's fine. It's to be expected. You're bound to take some. I could always high roll Crushing Demise, but it's very bad. When you miss there, it's just terrible. I miss the heavy. I actually made that a lot worse for myself by doing that. Oh well. I was hoping it was going to hit Rector and then I could potentially reform him, but, you know, it doesn't always go your way. This floor is really strong. <laughs> uh, classic. You need my Rector back? No? Okay. No Rector. Can maybe... I mean, we, we win this, right? This, this floor is strong enough to kill this. Yeah. All I have to do is not do something stupid like play Wicklash here. Cool. Solid. The scaling on Siren is a little tough right now, but uh, if we can pick up a good, good card here, which, eh, you know. Second Spike is a little bit bad. Devour doesn't seem right either. Although someone recently pointed out to me that Devour of Death does damage to all enemies, which is something I never thought of with it. This is energy more than it's space. I was gonna say space because we can play Rector on the top floor, but I think that extra energy to just play more spells is even more worth it. And I don't even need Mirshan of Steel. I just need minus ones. Hold over? Hold over Molded is really good here. It means that I play Rector every time. And it means that uh, I just incant the top floor every turn, which is paying paying that money and that upgrade slot and minus one draw to incant top floor guaranteed every turn. Great. My, I'm just I like it a lot. Yeah. Big mortal entrapment down to zero. Save the rest of the money for now. Uh, just Take Umbra first here. Prismal Dust is good. Space Prism was the nuts. Prismal Dust is fine though. Too bad. Prismal Dust probably the worst card we could have gotten there, and it's still okay because we're just gonna play it as zero cost. Consume Incant one. Was hoping for uh, Space Prism, and I guess Pack Morsels is really bad too. Likes five. Do I take this? Oh. Now this one I can think about. No. Siren is 10 health. If she dies, we'd... I mean, it's probably okay, because Rector can 1v1 boss, but it's a little scary, so I'm not going to try it. We're playing the middle four here, because I want to have a chance to at least... I want to have a chance of not taking a million here. One turn too late. How sad. Now we just hyperscale. Uh, I want to freeze crystalline seeds here, I think. And I'm gonna go ahead and spike. 
It seems right to me to try and take less damage, because this guy is going to do a lot of damage if I don't uh, respect. And so I will respect. And we're going to get... Actually, we're going to get a lot out of this, it looks like. A lot of mileage here. Him going up like this is nice, because I get to play my spells on him, too. So I get to get all of these incants. And I'm even just going to incant like this. And then the reason I froze this is so I could kill this floor off. And I really just, all I need to do is max incants. Also, did I just make it so I can't play Rector on this floor? I sure did. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate that I lose my Wickless Tycoon. I lose a lot of money for this, but, you know. It is what it is, I suppose. I greeted incants. We don't need money that much, also. Not super concerned about the money aspect here. Oh, hey. Kind of nice. Uh, weird to just play these like this, but it feels right. Mm, we can get a little more money. We can get an extra five gold off of that. And... Prismal Dust for seven is pretty nice. You know, just without even trying, hit the memories, Prismal Dust turn. You like to see that. Can I get you killed? I sure cannot. That's okay, though. If I send this guy to the back, I get a lot more money, right? Yeah. Pretty decent chunk. This is looking solid. I'm not 100% certain that we kill Seraph with that floor, but it's pretty close. At the very least. It's gotta be close if it's not a kill. I mean, that has to kill, right? Look at it. Seraph only does 30. If I... Yeah. What'd you expect? I don't know. I'm gonna just press end turn here. I mean, I guess I should have incanted, right? Just in case, but, you know. I get into a mindset with this boss of, oh, well, don't damage him, but then I, I start thinking too much about it, and I just, just press end turn. Easier. I want to take a card here. I think I want to take Engulfed in Smoke. Yeah, I'm gonna. And Guardian Stone. Yeah. That's good. It might not be needed, but it's nice to have, is what I feel like here. Maybe it, it, it's it's prob probably not needed, but it might clutch the run, so I'm going to give it a shot. Going left here. Right path isn't super enticing to me. The magic shop doesn't seem like it's something that I need. Yeah, this run had Bodavari, Wax or Snuffer, and Intent on Death on it also, so you know. You could go a different line, a different uh, perspective on this one if you so desired. I'm gonna get flooded with curses on this run. I'm gonna get absolutely crushed by the curses. It's gonna be tough. Probably gonna lose off of that, and there's not much I can do about it, really. It's gonna have entire turns of curses with no real recourse here. Tycoon? Nah. It's like, do I ever keep Tycoon here? I don't think so. If I want to keep Tycoon, I'll just take another Nameless Siren. And I probably will actually take another Nameless Siren and just slap it down. Ooh, buddy. Slap one down behind Rector just to try and uh, deal with those curses, because there's going to be a lot of them. Give it a shot. Could also try to make a super floor. Shark and double siren. I'm just worried I'm not going to incant enough here. I'm not worried about the curse damage. I'm worried about not having enough incants to kill Sarah Because of the curses. Top four space loss is fine. We'll just play the crushing. Nice. Probably the best case. And then... How's this go? It goes. If I push him to the back, I lose more damage, so it's better to play this. Just. Uh, no, I shouldn't save health on Rector. It doesn't matter. He dies in three turns. Right. And then I have the Nameless Siren here. 
I do want to play foreground power first. Yeah, just because I want it to not discard specifically that card, so it still did and I lose. I don't necessarily lose, but like, this is tough. This is tough. I have no great outs here. I just have to drop a unit, right? Yeah, okay. I have to play all of these to incant, and then we're okay. I just drop a 15-3. And then it's not so bad. Need to pull my molded. Cool. Hey, yeah, good timing, molded. I took engulfed in smoke just to stealth one round and save me a... Say, like, save a card, and it did exactly what we wanted it to do. So, great work as well. I'm just probably going to lose to the pyre damage is what it looks like here. I think that I'm just going to have too much stuff walk by. But maybe I'll be wrong about that. Rector also just whiffs a hit there, which is tough. We're not getting super mobbed by curses, I guess. It's interesting because it's better for me to hold Crystallis, but if I foregone power and I lose molded, I'm just really sad. So I'm gonna lose a Crystallis here. And I'm gonna use it to save that Pyre health because I am a little concerned about the current state of our Pyre's health. Yeah, probably fine. I don't know, maybe we're gonna pull this one off. This is gonna be a bit of a caper if we pull this one off, I gotta say. All of the Seraphs were gonna be reasonably difficult, but I think Diligent is particularly difficult for us here. Just the nature of the fight seems pretty tough. And also, like, the fact that my double heavy plane is getting a little bit got here is tough. I'm gonna drip fall them first. Oh well. Maybe we're going to pull off the heist of the century here against Seraph the Diligent. Maybe, maybe. I always like the section of these runs where I begin to believe. It's a good discard. The moment in the run where I start to go, hey wait, maybe I can win this. If I push you to the back, it's good. Seraph spawns. I probably should have spiked him. I mean, I definitely should have spiked him in hindsight now. Oh well. I and mean, let's just see if we have it here. Place your bets. Do you think we have it? I'm gonna go with nah, but maybe I'll be wrong. Uh, you're dying. Let's just stop the death so that we get more damage out here. I mean, it's it's close. It's actually pretty close. I think we have it because of the armor totem. After I said it was going to be not very useful, it's going to be very useful. Oh, <laughs> I've, played, I've played enough of this game at this point to look at this floor and look at Seraph and without even... It's not even... I didn't even do the math or anything. I just went, it's close. This floor is pretty close to killing him. And this floor is off by 50 damage for the kill. How about that? Cool. Good run. Uh, we got there. I've just I played enough of this game to say to, to look at a floor and eyeball it and go, yeah, that's pretty close to killing Sarah. It's not even a thing where it's like, yeah, I know exactly how much damage Sarah's gonna do or anything like that. It's like, yeah, it's in my mind. You're doing around uh, 500 damage per round. Your shark has got around 200 health. They're up to 30 damage per round, and you can you can do the math. But I don't even do that process anymore. I just look at that floor and I go, yeah, that's about right. Roughly this much damage and roughly this much health. That looks good. Cool run. I basically spent this entire run doom saying and going, oh, this doesn't look great, and then we just hit like crazy. I this is this is a run that I won. It, there are runs that I win despite myself, where I'm like, oh man. This run is so bad, I can't believe it, right? Like the Conduit Tethys run, for example. 
is a good one where I was like, I, this run is so bad. But it, despite all of that, on the way there, I was like, I can see the way that this one wins. This run was one where I was like, I was, but because by Talos, you typically need to have your plan in place. So the fact that we killed Talos and then put a plan together is just super rare. And I was pretty sure that we were dying to Talos on this run. But instead, we just pieced together an in-camp plan starting at floor three, which felt very strange. But we got there, which is cool. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoy, do not forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.